Hello and welcome back. We are here on Assetto Corsa. So we always talk about having drift prepared cars and fully tuned up cars, whether it be a comp car or a drift prepared street car. What about a non drift prepared car? So, so that's what we're going to find out today. If we can drive a non drift prepared car, but still get sideways and have fun with it. We have this BMW M3 competition G80 and we're going to go rip it. So make sure you follow me on all social media. Let's get to it. So one of the big challenges that we're going to have to accomplish with doing this is we don't have a clutch. Clutch is activated with the car because it is paddle shifters. So we will now have a clutch. So we're going to be doing this with all basically inertia of the car, weight transfers, and uh, that's about it. Maybe some power over. So really good for basic beginning drifting so we're going to do it in all kinds of views we're going to do it in obviously first person and third so uh let's just try our first things first make sure we have traction control off so this is basically off the showroom floor m3 competition and we're gonna see oh i can already tell the lock is gonna be the hindrance I was gonna try that short. Yeah, this is definitely not uh, as easy. Let's have a good drift prepared car. As it get massive understeer, so we really have to kind of throw the car. Oh, we wrecked it. We have to throw the car because I keep hitting clutch, but it doesn't work. Uh, we really have to throw the car and utilize power over and the weight of the car in order to like chuck the car in a drift. And manage the fact that we don't have a lot of steering angle. Ooh, okay, we're gonna go this way. <clears throat> Can we fit? Nope, we're not gonna be able to fit. Alright, we're gonna spawn back to fits. So we do have a bunch of different tracks here where we're at, but this is actually quite challenging just to get the car to initiate correctly. Because this car would not have any type of brake bias control. we go now we got a little bit going on stole an m3 from work and i definitely would not be doing this but it's all about trying to just get the car to rotate so let's go explore some other things it's trying to get the car to oh, oh. get the car to rotate in a matter of just using a little bit of braking maybe you know power over and things like that so really it would be a very good way to find a track i don't know where i'm going it'd be a great way to learn some throttle control in the beginning and maybe just some smooth driving because you like i said you are going to have to use transitions and things like that to get the car to go sideways. A little throttle blimp there. I went to go... Oh wait, we have a handbrake. I forgot. We do have a handbrake in the car, so that could also help us. I've been doing all this with just throttle over and stuff, but we do have a bit of a handbrake. No clutch though, see? I tried to use clutch there. And that angle lock is definitely hindering me. We are on a cart track too, so this is a very small track. And the problem when we engage the handbrake, it uh, wants to stall the car out. We are managing though to get 
I keep wanting to do that clutch. Maybe I need to get some slides. So let's we're gonna go ahead to clutch kickers and see if we can't run a full lap at clutch kickers with this situation and see if we can actually run it without clutch or anything like that. So let's do it. So now that we are at clutch kickers, we're gonna run it and see if we can actually get some lines here in this M3. A track that I'm a little bit more familiar with. I think we can get it. Oh! Nope. When you pull the handbrake, the car doesn't really want to work too well. I'm not sure why my screen is flashing, but... Definitely quite challenging in a non-prepared car. But we seem to be... Managing it somewhat, as I said, we almost go off. Nope, and there's where angle lock has an issue. So let's change it up and run this thing in first. Okay. Uh, I realized I lost a lot of traction there. So driving a non-drift repair car, definitely something that is very doable. But it does take a lot of finesse. A lot of good throttle control. So maybe if you are looking to get the basics of like some throttle control and stuff like that. Maybe driving a non-prepared car initially may be a good idea. Trying to find those paddles is definitely hard. So, I hope you guys found this video a little bit more entertaining. We're trying to drive, like I said, a basically off the showroom floor M3 competition G80. Have a little fun with it and uh, realizing how much I really do love my prepared cars because this is, this is a lot of work. If you can get some people to do tandems in these these cars you guys definitely uh have some trust in each other and have really finesse of the car because i'm trying to go way more angle see right there i'm trying to go way more angle than this car is actually capable of getting because of the limit of the steering block so you kind of got to limit your drift angle to a little bit slippery I don't like all that. So I think that's going to do it here for this episode here on a set of Corsa. A little different take with this M3. Now I have a question. What kind of build would you like to see with this M3? A full blown out comp build? Maybe a drift taxi? Let me know down in the comments because definitely I'm going to be working on this G80 as well since my G82 is done. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. All you found in the description box below. And as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track. Ooh.